Welcome back. Here are the rules for this follow along exercise challenge. Each exercise is 30 seconds. You'll have one to five breaks. As always, make sure to give everything you have, as this might be your only workout of the day. Good luck. I have an unhealthy obsession with spending money, but I have a healthy obsession with making it, so it's all good. <laughs> all they keep doing is talking. Talking about me and what I'm doing, what this, that. I don't give a fuck about any of them. So that's my mindset. I'm I'm living my life and this is my life. So that's it. Did you have faith that you would be able to explode onto the scene as you had? If I didn't, it wouldn't have happened. I had to believe in it. I had to feel it. I had to have faith in it. What happens if you do lose? That is not in the equation. That does not process in my brain for one second. Is there like a safe that's in your brain that's locked and it just doesn't open? No, I'm not a neurologist. I'm not a neurologist. I just cannot see it. I cannot feel it. All that matters is how you see yourself. If you see yourself the king, you know what I mean? You see yourself with all the belts and all, all everything. And no matter what no one else says, as long as you see that and really believe in it, that's what's going to happen. You can tell you otherwise. Who says what way you see things? Who says what you see out of your eyes? I saw myself in that light. I saw myself as the as the number one. And I saw myself as the champion. And, and knowing that, knowing that, that I have that kind of mentality about it, that's what gives me confidence going in there. How much of your game do you think is mental versus physical? It's probably 100% mental. I believe people say it's like 90% mental, 10% physical. I just think it's 100% mental. I think everything is an illusion, you know. The mind is what creates these things, you know. It's just... The mind is a, is a powerful thing, you know, and I'm only learning that. I'm only growing at that, you know what I mean? So what, what's to stop me? Excellence is, a, is, an, is not a skill. Excellence is an attitude, you know what I mean? And it's all in your head, you know. You tell yourself... you. you you, you are what you, you are whatever you tell yourself you are, you know what I mean? And I'm telling myself I'm the two-way champ. You know what I mean? That, that's that. You know what they say when you see it in your head? See who says that? When someone says when you see it in your head, you're going to see it before your eyes. And that's what happened. I hope that, I hope that inspires people to, to get out and chase what, they're, chase what they're chasing, you know what I mean? And get after it. In, in the struggle, you know, you, when, when things are going good and you visualize these good things happen, you visualize more good things happen, that's easy. What's not easy to do is when sh things are going bad and you're visualizing the good stuff. And that, that was what I was able to do. I was able to, you know, even though uh, I was having these troubles at home, and even though I had no real, I had no job, no, you know what I mean, or whatever, I didn't know what actually what I was doing. If it didn't happen, it didn't happen. But I still was able to feel like it was. I still was able to go into a different, just like you might use my imagination, like a kid would use his imagination. I was basically just using my imagination. And I swear to God, sitting in the traffic and all, I visualized, I'm sitting here out the steering wheel, visualizing a brand new car, I'm visualizing good things in, in, in times of struggle. And that, that, when you can do that, I think that really makes the, 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 that law of attraction work. I think it really attracts to you more. You know what I mean? Because that is harder to do when you're in the struggle to visualize these things. I'm surrounded by a lot of luxuries. They have been built through sacrifice and continue to be built through sacrifice. I'm proud of all the luxuries I have in my life, but I don't forget that I must work hard. How much of a distraction is the money and the fashion and the award ceremonies? How much of a distraction is that type of stuff away from you're damn right I'm in it to make the money. This is prize fighting. I'm in it to get rich, fast, and then I'm in it to get out. So, but again, like I said, I need to forget about all that, push it all to the side, and focus on improvement. And that will ultimately bring the money. You know, I signed, only recently signed a new deal with, with the UFC. You know, I'm, I'm one of the big dogs now. You know what I mean? When I win the gold, I'm top two on the roster. I'm top two paid on the roster. You know what I mean? So people can say whatever they want about what way I've gone about things, but the way I've gone about it has worked. And 
I'm in the business of securing my own future, my family's future. I'm in it to get all the money, all the belts, and then I'm gone. I have some things lined up for after the, for after the fight. Um, I'm in talks with people. If, again, if it involves money, it's me again. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show up and, and again, make, make money. This is what this is about. It's, it, it's, it's about the money. If, if it, what else is it about, really? What else is it about? So acting has definitely crossed your mind, at least? Money has crossed my mind. <laughs> and acting brings money. How long until you're a billionaire, Connor? Grabs on the whiskey. Thank you so much. I'd say about, well, well, I'm 30 years of age. I'd say by 35, I'll be a billionaire. 35? Yes, 35. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. The only way I give a fuck about is the weight of them checks. And my checks are always super heavy weight, so I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm a war horse, a machine. One of my favorite words has been capitalized. That's a strong word I've been saying to myself this whole time. Capitalize. To do with the fight, to do with business, to do with everything. It's a strong word. Capitalize on every opportunity. Connor, can you talk a little bit about your background, just what motivates you in the ring? Anything uh, from where you're from and your style? Um, I'm just motivated by movement and money, and the movement of money. Uh, and that's it, that's why you see me here in this private fighting ring and running this whole game. Um, I enjoy movement, the body, and movement of the moon. It's my favorite. Fame and celebrity, there's pitfalls for it. But I am no celebrity. People mistake me for a celebrity. I break people's faces for money and bounce. That's what I do. To be honest, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just up to here in $60,000. I'm just thinking of what I'm going to spend on it. You know what I mean? Just last week, I was collecting the social welfare. You know what I mean? I, I'm going to have to. But now I suppose I'm just gonna tell them to fuck off. <laughs> the game is on its knees. The game must must hold seminars every weekend to pay for their training costs. And I'm out here rallying around California in a car that spits fire, dressed like El Chapo, with anacondas on my feet. But you know what's also good about, uh, what's also a good thing about money? What's also better than money? More fucking money. So that's it. There's a lot more coming in. And the fights, I, I just love to be here and do what I'm doing. And I'm just going to keep doing it. And that's it. I always visualize what giving would feel like. Giving to people who have given to me. What that would feel like. I always dreamed of just showing up one day and be like, here. And that would always give me like good feelings. Now I can do what I've been dreaming of doing given back to people who have given so much to me. This is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. Connor, in February of 2013, we spoke for the first time. You didn't have a car. You didn't have a pot to piss in. All you had were blueberries. Now here you are with the undisputed gold. Enjoy it, my friend. You deserve it. You called it. Yeah, from nothing to something to everything. So that's where I am right now.